That's right. Today, we are going to be looking at all the secrets in the new White House update. That's right. You can now be president in Brookhaven. Brookhaven not only has a mayor, but a president, and it's evolving and getting better by the day. And holy moly, dude, I told you guys this year was going to be absolutely terrific for Brookhaven updates. And I knew, I knew, I, knew, I just have a feeling, and this is only the beginning. We haven't even got our huge secret update yet. Ooh, this is going to be good, guys. So, you want to know all the secrets in the White House estate update. Well, where that all begins is, of course, no other than the White House. So, let's go ahead and head over to the Northern Estate. A lot. There it is. And let's spawn in our notorious White House. This is cool, and there's a lot of cool features that maybe you overlooked or didn't quite catch. And, well, I hadn't had the time to include some of these in a video. One being the secret nuke button. What? Yeah, it gets kind of crazy. So, let's go ahead and load this in here and hop on in to the White House. Now, of course, there you can do all the normal features that you have. The uh, the, cube, the the house pool, it comes with it. You can change the house sign. Don't forget, you can make this, you, you know, change the sign. It appears in front of the pillars. You can also change the coloring of the floor however you desire, which is kind of nice. We're going to go for gray. And then, of course, you can come over here and press this button, which allows you to change it through various different jobs or symbols that can really just input however you would like to role play in the White House. Well, for this sake, we're going to be doing the agency. So, yeah, you just press this white button here. It allows you to change it. You can make it into an agency White House, which is kind of crazy. The agency have took over. Over here is your house commands. If people are coming in your house, adding a ton of props. You guys like to do that to me. I could just delete all of them here. However, I do kind of wish there was like a permanent like disable prop solution because I'll delete all the props and then people will add like a hundred more right after it, right? So, <laughs> another funny thing is that people were doing, you can kind of glitch your vehicles into the uh, white house um so for example let's just do this hover vehicle for now um I, i've never tried this one so i don't know if it's gonna work because it's kind of big but you can take your vehicles in here so if you see you can drive your vehicles in the white house now this is kind of chaotic i'm not gonna lie dude but it, it is possible so if you keep glitching it you can kind of glitch your way in and look at this dude we are we're now Dude, what are we doing? Dude, this is so bad, dude. Oh, my God. So, yeah, you could just kind of go crazy with it. As you guys can tell, you could probably glitch, like, tons of vehicles. And now we have a Roblox egg hunt vehicle in the White House parked here. Uh, <laughs> kind of like at the dining room. Dude, what is this, right? So, this is just one of the prime examples. This is the first time I've glitched this one in here. But you can glitch semi-trucks, uh, limousines, you know, any type of vehicle that you could possibly fit through the front door. You can get in here and put through the White House. Now, I don't know why you would want to do this, but it is kind of secretness worthy, I figured. So, that's why it's included in here because uh, it is something you could do. Next up is the Notorious Safe Location by clicking the back of this statue, it will teleport you into the safe room. Now, the cool thing you can do in the safe room is you can glitch into the wall, and when you do this, it kind of puts you in the best hiding place that you will ever find. Um, I'm not even kidding. So, if you do this and glitch into the wall, it will sometimes make you fall through the wall. I think I glitched on the wrong side. Yeah, I glitched on the wrong side. But um, you can glitch on one side uh, of the safe. And what it does is basically allow you to just kind of go across the wall all the way back to the pool. Um, now, it doesn't really do anything, but it completely hides you. Like, if you're looking for a top hiding place, that's one of the best places to do it. No lie, guys. So let's actually go down there and see. Now I know which side. It needs to be this side, I think, maybe. Or is it this side? Oh, it's this side, I think. So this is the side that you can do it in, usually. Okay, okay, come on. Let me get this for demonstration purposes. All right, it's not letting me get it now, dude. I, I literally did this multiple times, dude. All right, I don't know why it's doing this, dude. This is unbelievable. All right, let's try this side of the wall, then. Let's see if we can get a, a, a good bed placement. It has to be placed so the bed, the head of the bed, is kind of facing towards the wall in a sense right so that's what we're looking for we're looking for that perfect bed placement to kind of glitch us here see it almost glitched me out there but you guys get the point you can play around with it I, we did catch that on video as well it kind of glitches you back to the pool which is kind of funny in its own way now one secret that i've not got to include in a video yet that i feel is essential is the red buttons and all of the buttons up here at the presidential uh table so if we come here you will see that you can press this right here now once we do that, it opens up this. Now, look at this, guys. This is a bunch of different buttons. 
that do a bunch of different things and it's got the big red button. Now everybody knows the big red button is a big no. You don't press it ever. It's there, it is pressable, but you don't press the big red button. Now what this big red button would do and if it's gonna come and do a future update, I don't know, but at the current moment, we have not been able to find this to be pressable. So there you have it. You can't really press this button yet, but still it's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, dude. This is kind of cool that this is here and it was kind of just one of those secret things that you have to find. So. Another thing is, don't forget guys, you can go on the roof by pressing that button there. You can also hide in the roof up here. Um, kind of good hiding place, I guess. And then you can jump through this and jump into the back of the pool if you desire. So, that be the case. Now we also got our helicopter, right? So we're gonna take our helicopter right here and we're gonna go on over to the school. Now the school is the new other big update that we got. All right, so we got the White House. That was huge, right? And I think we covered a lot of the stuff in the White House, but if we come over here, we can go to the school. Now, the school, you can also glitch vehicles in. Everybody knows that. Um, you can glitch vehicles and stuff into the school. Now, there is something wrong at the current moment of me filming this. It's probably gonna get patched, but if you go here and you type in meeting, it makes the room very dark. And I don't know why or how to change that, but yeah, the room just gets super dark. This is where you can talk about the doge and everything and everybody can have their meetings here, all right? So that's pretty cool. And here are the bleachers, which a couple updates back, we know that these bleachers were getting experimented with, and now they're finally here. Of course, you got the dance that you can uh, put to. You can sing up here and do whatever you might wanna do there. Uh, and then we have gymna gymnastics and pool. So the pool is also a very cool one. You can get on the diving board and use the pool. Now, if we come over here to the auditorium, you have many interesting things, including Western Brookhaven, kind of taking a little stab at that for a second. Is this hinting towards more time travel related stuff in future secrets? I don't know, probably not, but still, it's kind of cool to get like a Western setting. And if you come over here, you can also get Greece and home and just an empty stage or the city, whichever you desire. So there's no real secrets tied into these. They're just here. I thought they were very noteworthy, but there is something like if someone's standing on the stage, you will get an error message here that says you're not allowed to change the stage and if someone is standing on it. So this is kind of for the reason that if someone's using it, like the community pool, it also goes for the gym. Or if someone's doing a play and then someone just changes and interrupts the whole thing, it could be quite the problem. So that's probably why that was implemented. Now in the city, we have, of course, in the city, let me check the janitor office again, just to make sure there ain't nothing new here. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so that'd be the case. In the city, we have like the museum and the dealership that we can change. And there is a short time limit on that. There is a short time limit on that. But other than that though, it, it that's about it, right? So, but for the school ones, I felt like that probably was more of an essential thing to kind of add. Now, we also did get new props. They're really hard to find, but if you find them, they are there. And some of them are really cool, like the punching bag. Now, you might be like, how do I get the punching bag to actually move? At this current moment, you cannot. There is no way to get the punching bag to move. I know a lot of people was like, oh, well, if you press this and that, you or if you punch it, it actually moves. Well, I'm punching it and it's not moving. So yeah, sadly, the punching bag doesn't move or interact in any way w when you're using it. Uh, which kind of does suck, but you know, it's a prop at the end of the day. So you can have like a cool thing. Of course, we got the pillars here as well as a very noteworthy one. And then of course the solar panels, which tie kind of correctly in with, you guessed it, Brookhaven Electric with all the giant solar panels that they have. So with that aside though, I made a video also talking about this a little while ago, but the Easter egg hunt will be removed this Monday coming uh, because that is when Easter is going to be fully over. So I think Monday or Tuesday, we're going to get another little update. Now, will that update update include anything additional I don't believe it will but what I do know it will be removing the egg hunt and stuff and that secret is still behind there by the way since this is a secret video yeah so the easter egg secret is still there the little button of another vehicle oh yeah and we also got these things we can now put roblox balloons up so that's kind of part of the props as well I, I should know so um in that terms people were saying there was a new movie but there is no movie there is no agency room to my knowledge just you can turn the mansion or, or the estate uh the white house into an agency white house which is kind of cool but uh look at it dude it looks so cool it's 
kind of cool to get a White House. A lot of people have mixed feelings about this update. They say it's one of the best updates ever, while other people are kind of disappointed in the update. Um, I personally think it's a wonderful update, and I think it's a... Uh, dude, it's only getting better. President in Brookhaven, dude, that's the coolest thing ever. And on top of it, this is just a head start to show you guys the intensity that Wolfpack is aiming to release updates for us this year. So I'm all for it. I think it's amazing. But there's a full secret video for what it can be run down for you guys all into one. Make sure you hit the like button. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for all the love and support on the videos. We do this every single day. So make sure you're subscribed.